Okay, I have um, a band. I've got a towel. Uh, what else? I have dumbbells. So we're going to use all of it. Okay. And what we haven't done in a while is our little fancy footwork. So I thought we'd do some of that today. But let's start with just bringing our knees up to our chest, alternating. Hopefully you guys got outside and get a, did a walk. I think we're going to have clouds coming soon. Hopefully not wind. Oof, I don't like wind. South Dakota's full of it. It's like tundra. So I'm sick of that, especially if I'm out riding. Okay, give yourself a little kick in the pants, heel kicks. Okay, what we're gonna do is just gonna step forward and step back, okay? Uh, I will move my screen just a little bit. So forward, back. Forward and back. My right leg is leading, but if you're mirroring me, it could be your left. Doesn't matter because we will switch. Okay, we're gonna go to the side now. This way, out, out, together. Out, out, and together. Okay, now we're gonna go this leg front and back. Front and back. So Miley made it back from Tahoe, safe and sound it sounds. And she has weights now, so we don't have to do all that body weight stuff. Okay, let's go this way. Out, out, together. That body weighted stuff is really good to do because it gives you a sense of uh, functional training where you can pull yourself up if you wanna go climb a tree. Yeah, right. Okay, back to the knees, up. But it feels great to be strong and be able to pick yourself up off the floor quick, come up out of a chair without using your hands. Heel kicks. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go straight leg. So uh, kick it out, okay? And step here, okay? So here and back. What we're getting is a stretch in the hamstring and we're getting a stretch in the calf. Okay, four, five, six. We're gonna go four more to make it 10. Three, drive that heel down, okay? Okay, let's go the other side. I'm gonna go this way. Oops, kick my. Uh, thing there, my cabinet behind me. Let's go five more. Four, three, two, and one. Now, <coughs> out, out together. Out together. Let's bend our knees a little bit more now, okay? Seven, three more, stay low. Okay, let's go the other way, this way, okay? Out, out together. Again, I'm staying low. Makes a difference, because we're getting those quads warmed up. I'll go five more. Three, four, five. Okay, back to this one. Now we're gonna kick straight leg. We did it before. Three, four, five, six, four more. One, two, three, and four. Okay, other way. This is one way to get those hamstrings to stretch here. Okay, I'm gonna go one more, maybe two more. There we go. Okay, now you guys should feel pretty warm. We're gonna go into a plie squat, toes out. First, just get a nice stretch. Okay, let's bring our arms up over the head and down. Two, three, I guess we should keep it consistent and go to 10, four, five, Six, seven, 
eight, nine, one more, and 10. Nice, put your hands on your, your knees and drop this down. Yes, this is my new favorite stretch. You can see my arm is straight. If it's bent, it's not much range of motion or not much of a stretch in that back, okay? Okay, we're gonna do some Y's and T's. We haven't done those in a while. Or Y's and M's. M's for sure we haven't done. So I'm gonna pop this up a little bit so you can really see what the shoulders are doing. Then we're gonna grab the dumbbells, okay? So Y, M, drop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, back to the plie squat. We need to keep the legs going so we don't lose our heart rate. Heart rate should be up just a little bit. Five, six, four more. One, to get the hips back, okay? Get the hips way back there. Okay, so you're not leaning too far forward. Okay, feet are really close together. Here's the Y position of our hands. Squeeze and drop, okay? There's two, three, four, five. Let's go five more. You want to feel your deltoids, which is right here. And let's go one more. Okay, nice. All right, so step and pull. Get those glutes all stretched out. We are going to uh, grab the lighter weight, like the threes or the fives. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, freeze. And what I'm going to do is two rounds of this for now. Of now that we've done over our head. Sorry, the song is over our head. I named the playlist over my head. I'm really not over my head in anything, but um, I don't know. So, okay. We are going to bring our right hand over the left leg and then bring it up. Okay, it's like a half, well it's an X, almost, it's a three quarter X. Two, three, four, five, six. Take that arm slow, don't drop it too soon because you want to feel that deltoid in control so you don't do anything of uh, shredding or little micro tears of that rotator cuff. Let's go the other side. I know that was more than 10, Anne. One, two. If you're feeling a little impingement, just don't go up as high. Four, five, six. Let's go four more. One, two, three, four. Okay, now back to that Y. Let's challenge our balance. So I'm just gonna hold that heavy foot so I'm holding it into my hamstring, and I'm gonna go either to here for some of you or all the way up. And this is why I said to go light. And you probably, Rudolph, you probably grabbed this sevens or eights right away. You're gonna pay for it now, you did. Right. Keep those arms straight. Eight is great, but we're going for 10. Okay, other leg. If you're if you're focusing more on the balance, or and I and I really don't want you to, just put your foot up against something so you're moder um, modifying that balance. Okay. All right. It's still another set of those Y's. Okay. But let's add that M back to it or the W. Sorry. So we're hanging heavy footed so that hamstring takes the weight, soft bend in the leg that I'm standing on. Now I'm gonna go all the way up, and now I make that W shape, okay? And then drop it. Two, three, 
four, five. We're halfway there. Six. You should feel the shoulder blades squeeze and pinning down and back on that. I'm gonna go one more because I did lose count. Ugh, talking. Okay, nice. All right, let's bring these up into the goblet squat. This is where I'm going to add heavier weight. You can do the same. I'm gonna grab just a little bit heavier because I'm gonna bring it into the front, okay? So I'm gonna come down into a standard squat. You can do a sit and stand. So you can sit in the chair, um, hold on to the chair, the back of it if you don't wanna sit and just do it modified, but my, my, my feet are hip width. If I were really hip width, this is how I feel the tip width. Putting on the LBs here in this quarantine. I can't wait to go back to my normal routine. Okay, let's go. One more. Okay. Now, we bring those dumbbells down, and we're gonna do an upright row in that wider stance, okay? And then we'll go back to that goblet squat. So heavy on the legs right now, but that's okay. That's what we need for Friday, okay? So we're gonna come down and it's as if I was gonna do that diagonal pattern, but I'm gonna go a little bit to the inside, but a little past center. Okay, this is center, but this is over, and then we're gonna come up, okay? Here, there's two, three, I'm gonna go for 10, four, Five, six, seven, eight. I'm pulling with my fingers and my elbow's out. You see that it's not back here, but it's out so I can see it in the screen. Other side, my wrist is pretty straight. I'm not flexing. Three, four, five, Six, seven, nine, and there's my 10. Okay, put it back here. Let's give our legs, uh, our quads a little bit of a break. So we're gonna go back to that balance. Let's see, lift that one leg up and we're gonna rotate it here. It's different. And it may not seem like much. Don't wait, don't set your, weights to your chest, but we are just getting range of motion in that inter it's internal rotation of that hip. So you can see how I kick my hip, but my foot is out and I go back in, okay? I did change it, okay? This isn't anything that we've done because I just made it up. All right, let's go to the other side, okay? So here we go. It's internal rotation. So I kick it out. Two, three, four, five. Soft bend in the leg you're standing on. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Okay, we'll go external rotation on the next set. All right, here we go. Goblet squat, come down. You can go deeper by now. Two, Three, see how my knees are behind my toes. I'm not over here, I'm back, I'm sitting back. I'm going for four more. One, two, three, and four. Okay, wide stance, super wide. My toes, are out just a little bit, okay? So I'll play a little peekaboo with my, so my toes are out, not too much. If you go out too far, then you're gonna stress a little bit of this. Uh, it's just a difference, it's a different set. So try it right here, okay? Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven. Three, two, one. Other side. Six. 
six. You see that my knees are still lined up with my toes. I'm not knock knee. Okay, here we go. These are holding. I'm not letting them sit on my chest, okay? So now we're going to go higher and externally rotate. This is something we commonly do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go two more. Okay, now drop it low, pull that heel up, and kick it out and in. Two, three, don't swing it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One and two. It's good for that leg we are standing on, if anything. Externally rotate for 12. 10 to go. Hold those weights up right at the top of your chest. Okay, here we go. Internal rotation. Foot on the outside of the leg. Each side. There we go. I'm going for three more. And I'm going back to that goblet squat, but I'm going to incorporate my shoulders again. They've had a nice, long recovery. So, goblet turns to open, okay? We're back to that hip width apart, come down, and then up over the head. If you want, go like this, okay? Alternate. I'm going to go both at the same time. My palms are facing each other. It just keeps the weight in front of me a little bit. And I'm focusing on my upper pecs and the front part of my shoulders. If I bring them out like this, I get a little too much in my traps. And I don't really want to build up on that today. I want to go this way. Have we done enough? I want to go two more. I don't care what number we're on. Okay, now an upright row. A press and a pull. Wide stance. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Don't forget about your legs on this. Six. Drop your butt and pull up. Okay, drop your butt. Feel that stretch in your glutes. Okay, I'm on the other side. Two. Five. Six. Seven. Three to go. One. Two. And three. Okay, back to the military. On one leg. Okay, wait, I'm gonna stand my right leg first. Here we go. I'm going for 10 and then 10. One. Eight, two to go. One, two. Hold it there, internally rotate, control it right there. Hold that position and you'll feel it. Okay, whoops. Make this out to be a dance almost. Not that I'm a dancer. Okay, other side. Before we do the other side though, let's do our shoulder press. So funny story, Hannah turned some kind of a song on and it was, uh, I don't know, Instagram or TikTok. And it was a song and I started to dance to it. And she said, the, the saying on here is, play this song to your mom and watch her dance. Total hook, line, and sinker. What a sucker I am. Okay, hold it here and rotate out to, it got her to laugh, which, you know, teenagers, that's what we look for. Four, five, six. Hold it there. What are we working? Right there, right there, okay? Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four. Nice. All right, let's do a third set of that squat with the shoulder press. 
down, up, two. I figure it's Friday. You're not going to see me for two days. Seven. I'm going for three more. Okay. Now, last one of these. It couldn't be four sets for all I know, but it's good for us, okay? Like I said, I found myself focusing on my shoulders on this, but I really need to focus on my legs, okay? So I'm going to turn my toes out a little bit more than I did last time. You can do the same or just leave whatever's the most comfortable for your knees, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more, and we're going to switch. Focus on the legs. Four more. There we go. Okay, let's put these down, okay? We might see those later. I know we're gonna see them later, okay? Let's do a little rotation. If you don't have the band, what I'd like you to use is actually the weight or a ball or a pillow, or just pretend you're holding onto something, and we're gonna do a low to high chop, pat, finish off the balance of, or those diagonal patterns for our back, and our abs, and again, the front shoulders. So my hands are up, and I want to get a really close view of this, because many times we're doing this. Now, I don't want that. I don't want our hands here. I want them like that, OK? Top hand is the thumbs up. Or the top hand is the side we're working, OK? All right, here we go. I step forward. For those of you who know what you're doing, go for it. Keep going. My way to stall. No, it's my way of just making sure you're doing it okay. See, I'm using my legs a little bit. Three, four, five. My arms are somewhat straight. Partial bend in the elbows, but not much. I'm going for three more. One, two, three. Other side. If you want me to show you... So get set and pull, okay? Keep going, I'm gonna show you what it looked like if you had weights. You stack it like this and you come up here, okay? You're gonna go a little higher. You just lose the tension at the very top, but the tension goes into the shoulders, which is fine. Two more, one, two. That's how you work it with your, with your dumbbell. Okay, back to the band. For those of you who are doing the band, I'm on my second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ten. Two more. One, two. Other side. Nine, I'm sorry, nine, three more. One and two. Good. Okay. Now let's take the band. We're going to drop it on the floor. Okay. Going to drop it on the floor. And we're going to step on it. And we're not going to get that big of a range of motion. Um, now, for those of you who have that green band, you could put a weight underneath it, but we're going to pull, okay? I have the heavier band, but it's going to look like this if you want to put a weight on it. For those of you like Laura and Lisa, you're in your garage, so you guys have those 15 or 12, so you don't necessarily need the band. But the band is kind of fun. Uh, it gives it a different, it's a different experience. Four. Five. I'm going to go for 12, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more for me, that is. Oh, okay, we go the other way. That back leg is now the front leg. Just think of it that way. Okay, here we go. The dumbbell is a little behind the knee when we're using the band. Or if you're just using the band, just line your hand up close to that front leg, front knee. Oops, I'm doing the wrong leg. Keep going. Like, you know, when I turn around, everything goes to hell in a hand basket. That left side brain, I guess. I don't know. Okay. This is on the same side. I'm like, oh, this arm's getting tired. Now I know. <sighs> Okay, all right, so let's do that again. I'm gonna do it just with the band so I'm not confusing everybody, but it's either dumbbell, band, or dumbbell with band, okay? All right, here we go. I'm pulling, as you can see, my hand is behind my knee, so it's a little different of a different angle. I'm going for 12. Two more. Okay, other side. And pull. Some of you, if you have those heavier loop bands, and I know Paul, you do, this is another, uh, the, the loop band would provide a lot more tension. And so you could grab like that green band, um, loop band, and it'll uh, challenge you for sure. Okay, I'm going for three more. One, two, and three. All right, grab the band. Again, let's do some biceps before we get down to the floor. So we're holding it like this at the very end. If you have heavy dumbbells, go for the dumbbells. And put your foot down and curl, okay? This is a hammer curl. The, the, Bands are in the inside. I'm going for five more. One, two, oh my goodness, three. I'm trying to get my hands all the way to the top of my chest or top of my shoulders. Oh. Purple band is definitely heavier. I wish I had more to share with you guys on that one. Okay, we're gonna do one more set like that, okay? Just need a little recovery, and then we're gonna make our way down to the floor uh, and have your dumbbells ready because we're gonna do some chest and triceps. So today's total body, uh, believe it or not, we did one foundation or two. The Ys are a foundation for shoulders, and those rotations are foundations for your hips. So technically, I'm still within the guidelines, right? of the name of our class. Okay, palms up, or thumbs up, here we go. I'm gonna go for six more, okay? Five, oh, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can keep going, keep going. As I get set, and I'm gonna put the dumbbells down. Nope, don't lay down yet, but just get those dumbbells to the mat. Put you down on my stool. And there we go. I can see. Okay, and then we leave our set. Okay, so what we're gonna do is mountain climbers. Okay, and with the mountain climbers, you get a choice. You get to do push-ups or you get to do supermans, okay? So I know what, uh, Lynn, I know what you're gonna do. Actually, no I don't because you might be doing the push-ups. So this, the um, 
You can use a counter, actually. So you can do the mountain climbers holding onto your desk or a counter. Um, the chair is not as steady unless you push it up against the wall. Um, and then the countertop push-ups, okay? Um, or on your hands and knees, remember this is the most modified and doable, okay? So we are going to go 30 seconds. 30 seconds by three times, okay? Here we go. Start those mountain climbers. Again, you can alternate, take it slow, or you can run them, okay? We're halfway. Your eyes are looking down at the mat. If you are on the mat, your eyes are looking across the table if you're using your table. Okay, now into the push ups. Twenty seconds. We got five seconds to go. And the goal is really just to keep moving, okay? Now we've got that mountain climber again. So here, just like that, or you can jog it. We've got 10 seconds of this madness. You guys should be feeling your shoulders. And there's our 30 seconds. Give yourself about a 10 second rest. Three, two, one, and into those push ups. On this push up, you can also do those Supermans. You can also do those Supermans. You've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and there we go. 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds are more for me. <laughs> okay, we got one more round. And let's do this, guys. Here we go. Here's the alternate at this pace, or you can run it out. <laughs> There's nothing fun about this. 10 more seconds until we're done and we can say we did it. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds and we got our push up. Or you can go without taking a 10 second rest, okay? All right, here we go. Last round of push ups. Keep it going, guys. We have 10 more seconds. And there's our 30. Nice set of a 30, three minute, 30 second set. Almost like a Tabata, but we didn't rest too, too much. All right, we're gonna lie down. Give the shoulders a long recovery. We're going to work our abdominals. We're going to wipe the brow, get sweat off. All right. We are going to put our head down and you're going to do big bicycles with your legs. Point those toes, keep the small of your back down. Now, take them, touch your toes, and then lift up. Toes and lift up. 
I'm gonna bring my arms out. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're going for 15, okay? Eight. Keep going. Lift those hips up. Curl at the back. For some of you, you might feel a little stretch in the back. It should be fine. I'm going for two more. Okay, legs are straight. Cross them. Hands behind the head. Just lengthen that spine. And we're going to do that. Low transverse muscle. Elbows back and come up. Six more. And there's our six. Now, you're going to take your legs, you're going to put your hands behind you or underneath your hips, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to flutter kick. That flutter kick can be low right here or it can be high, okay? Whatever uh, is, feels the safest for you on your back. So, I put my hands under here because my back will pop up and so it gives it a little bit of a support, okay? And then I'm going to flutter kick. My eyes are to the ceiling. I'm not going to look at my feet. I'm not going to admire anything other than the number we can do, okay? Oh, I look at the clock. So I'm going to count 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm pointing my toes. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Okay. Finish that off with a bicycle elbow to knee. Take your time on this. The, the goal is to really get your shoulder off as high as you can so you can get that elbow to touch the knee. One more on each side. Now, hip sets. Okay, we're gonna just march our feet. Okay, so what we have left in terms of muscle groups is our triceps. Whether you felt those in your uh, push ups, if you had a pretty narrow grip, um, but those push ups acted for chest. And more shoulders. And so now what we're gonna do is just come down, get a little stretch in that low back. We're gonna put the weights in our hands. Okay. We're gonna put our hips up and we're gonna do our triceps. We'll do a variety of our uh, triceps. Um, we won't be just stuck to do this one, but we'll start with this one. We're going to shoot for 20 of them, keeping our hips up. Now, while we are doing this with our elbows extended, you know, working the triceps, what I want you to do is lift your toes up. Get that range of motion in your shins and in your ankles and hold them up the whole time. Okay, nine eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now bring them down. Bring your hips down. Okay, where's the band? Do you guys have that band somewhere? We did these on Monday. It felt really good. So. We're going to try to challenge our back a little bit more. Um, if you don't have the tubing, will work. It might roll up, but um, 
But what we're doing is our hips come up. We're going to put our hands are straight and I'm trying to push my hips up and resist. And the, the band is resisting that movement. Okay. Where this is locking in is those triceps in the back of our shoulders. Just feel this in your glutes. Okay, now hold it up there. And what I want you to do is get those arms straight and push downward in that short motion. Get those hips up as high as you can without compromising that back. Okay, I'm gonna take my arms out a little bit wider to get more range of motion. Okay. And take a rest. Okay. Let's go back to crunches now. All right, so we did those circular motions. Those are easy, but let's bring our shoulders off. Okay. You can put your hands behind your head or you can leave them. Okay, now put our hands behind. Our legs are out and now we're gonna do a double crunch, okay? You can go here or you can extend them. I'm just gonna do a combination of all the things we've already done this morning for abs. I just didn't think we did enough. So the double crunch, I'm bringing my shoulders up and I'm bringing my feet out as far as I can, extending my legs. Go three more. And bring it down. Okay. So this band, your arm is straight, okay? Arm is straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna straighten out my arm or my elbow at the bottom, okay? And what this is, is it's a single tricep extension and um, you're just holding it out here, either from the top to make it easier or out and you're trying to straighten this out. Now I've tried this standing up and it works great as well, but I thought now that we're down here, and believe it or not, it's almost time to go. I told you we we're gonna do a variety of triceps, so I had to come up with something. So this is what I came up with. Okay, and I definitely feel it in my triceps. You see what I'm doing? I'm just straightening out my elbow and my forearm touches the mat. Ay, yeah, yay. That burned. I hope it burned for you guys. So with here, bring this up. You can double that green band and it should be about like this purple. Okay. And my elbow's tucked in and I'm straightening it out. Okay. Seven. Eight, nine, eight. I'm going to go for five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So literally all that was, was my hand is out here or I can bring it here and I am just straightening out my elbow. That's that's what we were doing. I brought it out here because we can be nice and stable on the floor. So, so that was a good one, I thought. Um, hopefully you guys figured that one out. All right, let's go one more crunch. This is that bicycle elbow to knee, and let's challenge ourselves. We've gone as long as 90 seconds with this one, and so we're gonna try it today, okay, for Friday. I'm gonna stop this. I'm really going to time it, uh, you guys. So are you ready? So this is bicycle elbow to knee, continuous for 90 seconds. 
and I get to show you the modifications intermittently so you don't stop. So just keep going for the 90 seconds. Ready, set, and begin. Bicycle elbow to knee. I have my legs going towards the wall. You can go up higher, that's easier, okay? The hardest position is really low, but you better not have that back pop up. The small of your back is down this whole time, okay? We have 60 seconds, guys, okay? Here's the modification. And don't worry about the speed. It can be slow as long as you keep moving and rotating, okay? These are obliques. And we want very functional. It's no different than turning out of your chair to get out of the table after dinner. You're rotating and pushing yourself away from the table, which I need to do that a little more often. Definitely aren't missing any meals. Oh. Okay, guys, 30 seconds. Time is flying. Hang in there, breathe. Don't be holding your breath. No red faces. Fifteen seconds. Build that endurance in those abs. We have one thing we've gotten out of this whole shelter in place. Three, two, and one. Oh, that did me in. Okay, let's stretch a little bit. Uh, whoops, reset. We're gonna stretch. So roll your legs side to side. Stretch out just what we've just worked right in here. Okay, rotate whenever you're ready. Or switch sides whenever you're ready. Okay, now I'm gonna go figure four stretch. Hook that foot up and lift, reach through. Well, it was total body today, uh, everybody. We did pretty much all the muscle groups. Switch sides. And have yourself a great weekend. Um, I hear there's rain in our forecast on Sunday. So get outside if you can before then. Although there is so much fun mountain biking in the rain, I will tell you that up on Skyline. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna straighten your leg out. You just pick it up in the air, and for many of us, we feel that stretch in the hamstring, okay? Instead of holding the stretch, we did that yesterday. Let's do a movement stretch, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower it. So I'm gonna move it here, and I'm still feeling that nice stretch in my hamstrings. But now I've got my glutes into it and my hamstrings. Okay. All right. Now we're going to stack ourselves. We're going to be here. Stack. Open up. Back to the front. Two. Uh, three, we're gonna go the other side. Pull to the side. Open up. One more, I'm going three for each side. Now we're gonna roll up on our side. We're gonna go to the child's pose. Okay, sit back. Okay, and quick runner stretch and then I will let you go. Okay, I know I'm keeping you late. Do the stretch here. You can do this on the chair where you put your foot up on the chair. Just stretch those hips out. And the other side. Okay. Okay, a quick angry cat. Round up that back. 
and sink. And there we are done.